Welcome back, Siren Sparty again. And it is night one, day zero of uh, my Superior Hiking Trail through hike attempt. So it is Friday, June 24th, and we are here at Bagley Nature Center on the University of Minnesota Duluth campus area, um, which is one of the few places in Duluth, in the Duluth section of the um, Spear hiking trail that you can camp. It was like 25 bucks. It's a nice little spot here, right in the middle of town. It's kind of crazy. Um, but we are set up. We drove as far as uh, some family in Northern Illinois last night, got up and uh, drove the rest of the way today and are now all set up. So uh, this is Eva. She'll be joining me again this year. And that is me. And this year I will be using the uh, Durston two person after uh, last year I was very happy to go with the one person we were sort of camping wherever we landed and there's a bunch of spots where I wouldn't have gotten the two person in there but also when we had that rain my gear is mostly soaked and then I made the extra dumb decision dealing with wet clothes and wet gear in a one person when you're my size is not easy um, I'm right around six foot and I'm rather broad and I weigh a lot more this year than I did last year. So I decided to take the weight penalty and go for the two person. Um, so the plan is we're gonna settle in for the night. It is supposed to start thunderstorming about midnight and last all day tomorrow. So that's gonna be a wild day one. Um, we can't park near here. And the office was closed by the time we got here, so I couldn't ask about parking. So in the morning, we're going to get up, grab some breakfast, and drive over to the Martin Head uh, Trailhead, Martin Road Trailhead, rather. Um, and we'll park there and start a traditional spear hiking trail, no bow attempt. So we are hoping to average just a little over 20 a day. Um, and if we do, we would be finishing, based on our plan, we would finish right at the end of the day on day 12, or what we were talking about doing potentially is um, crashing for the night at the last campsite on the north end, which is about a mile and a half from the overlook, and then night hiking in and uh, hitting the overlook for sunrise, which would be pretty sweet. Um, all of that assumes that we keep our pace and I am out of shape this year. So that's unfortunate. We'll see what we can do. Tomorrow's gonna be wet, but since we have to drive to the trailhead and can't just set out on the trail right over there, um, I think we're only doing 10 tomorrow. So deal with some rain, do some small miles and then get to camp and ride out the weather. Um, we had originally planned to do 20 from here. Parking situation, as I said, it's not gonna work, so it is what it is. But uh, it's pretty beautiful right now, other than a little buggy. But uh, yeah, excited to be back on the trail. So uh, thanks for coming along with us, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, it is Saturday, just after 8.30. We are officially on the trail. We uh, had a pretty sweet thunderstorm last night. Got up early, packed up, went out and grabbed some breakfast, and then made our way to the Martin Road Trailhead. We just stepped off. Our feet are already soaked. That's super fun. Um, check the map while we were eating breakfast and looks like we have about 15 and change today, not 10 from the trailhead. So should be a pretty good day. We're expecting some rain, but the forecast has slowly improved from thunderstorms all day to hopefully clearing up closer to between lunch and dinner about three o'clock I think so we'll see how that goes but uh we are officially back on trail we'll check in later it's 
about quarter to 11. We're about six and change miles in. We are at Lester River, which is a pretty cool little bridge here. Um, trail conditions are wet, very, very wet. Um, bug conditions. Uh, bug conditions are very, very buggy, very active. Um, it's been a bit of a slog. We've been up water up to our knees a couple times. But temperature has been okay. It's pretty muggy, but it's not too hot. And then um, it hasn't rained at all, which has been amazing. Uh, we passed two spur trails to campsites, but I didn't really stop to see which one. Um, I think in about a mile or two here, we'll probably stop for lunch because we'll be about halfway. But yeah, going well so far. We are stopping for lunch here on a bridge over, I don't know what it's over. There wasn't a sign for the creek name that I saw, but we are like halfway between White Pine and Lone Peak campsites, I think. Uh, so we're somewhere between seven and a half and eight and a half miles for the day. I think it's closer to seven and a half. Um, my GPS says we're over eight, but I took a wrong turn and did some bonus miles. So that's probably the disconnect there. And it's still before noon and we haven't gotten any rain still. The bugs have been horrendous, but no rain. So that's been good. So we are filtering some water. Well, I need to back flush this thing. It's way too slow. Uh, but other than that, we got a little bit of a breeze and the bugs aren't horrible right here. So we're going to sit down, filter water and get some food. Continuing on this uh, section of trail here. Elevation's been very tame. It's been a little bit drier the last couple of miles, which has been a nice change. Bugs are still real bad. Wildflowers are still really good. Uh, we're about 11 and change. Somewhere between 11 and 12 miles in, we just passed. <laughs> Bug attack. Uh, about 11 and change miles in, somewhere between 11 and 12, we just passed Lone Tree Campsite. Uh, so the next campsite was our, <coughs> next campsite was our target for today. Depending on what time it is and how we feel when we get there, we may push on another campsite, which I think is five more, but it'll really depend on time and weather. So other than that, going pretty well. All right, it is just after two o'clock. We are about 13 and a half-ish miles in and coming up to this bridge. We are just a little over halfway between Lone Peak campsite, which was the last one we saw, and our intended campsite for the night. And we are on a bridge to the French River. It's been a little soggier this last stretch and buggier but realistically it hasn't rained and so i'm going to call that a win so i think we got about a mile and a half to two and a half to camp and then we'll uh, make some decisions uh, more later all right it is about just shy a quarter after three we are about 15 miles in at huron pond campsite um, since it's early and we haven't gotten rained on hardly at all just started raining when we got here so we threw our jackets on but it looks like it's gonna blow through um, we're strongly considering heading on another four miles to the something river campsite so I think that's probably what we'll do we're just gonna take a little break here filter some water I uh, got the little right about there gravity coupler for the Sawyer 
uh, which is good because filtering sucks right now because I didn't back flush it or bring the black flush thing. So that's gonna be a fun adventure for the rest of the trip. Eva has a smart water sports cap that I'll use once we get to camp for good and have a lot of clean water to use to back flush it. But it's working and I don't have to squeeze it and I like that a lot. So uh, I just had some trail mix and I think I might go in for another bar too because I didn't stop I didn't eat lunch when we stopped I just had a cliff bar earlier so I'm gonna get some calories in me and then uh, we'll probably push on haven't been doing much filming today because there hasn't been that much to see um, some wildflowers which I did get some video of but no views we've just been sort of in the woods or walking through like waist high grass on the sides of roads and stuff so it is what it is what little footage i have is pretty much all there is to see other than you know we're basically swimming through water on the trail but it's not too bad really enjoying the uh trail runners instead of the combat boots they drain really well even when they're wet they're not heavy and yeah, so far so good. We'll see how my feet feel by the time we get to camp, let alone the end of this. So we'll find out. All right, more later. All right, I think we're about a mile from our new, about, whoa, goodness. I think we're about a mile from our new campsite at Sucker River. Um, it's been pretty, standard trail so far a little more ups and downs but not big ups and downs just like up a little down a little up a little down a little and then lately we've been in this little more dense forest uh the rain seems to have cleared and it got a little warm if you're in the sun um other than that it's gone pretty well one weird reroute situation that wasn't marked and i think it's because the original trail either was poorly marked and we missed the turn or it flooded out but we followed a different trail and it put us on a road and the road took us back to the real trail so no harm no foul a little bit of bonus mileage but uh yeah should be in camp in the next half hour or so so we'll check in then good evening it's about 7 15 or so how many steps did you get like 47,000 steps or something. Mine's 43. Uh, good evening. It's about 7.15 on Saturday night. We are at the Suckers River, I think, campsite, yep. which is where we ended up. We went a couple, four extra miles. Um, didn't film much because there's two other groups here, and I didn't want to be rude. So we got in. We... Got in a little bit after 6.30? No, 5.30. Got set up. Uh, a little bit cramped because there's it's not a huge site and there's two other groups. But we managed. Um, went and sat by the fire to try and chase away the mosquitoes. Had dinner. Um, so I am doing two different batches of trail food trials on this trip. Uh, macaroni and cheese and um fettuccine alfredo and so tonight we had fettuccine alfredo by mountain house um i don't have the bag in front of me for all the stats i know it was one and a third cups of water nine minutes to reheat five out of five on ease um flavor it was fine it was a little bit bland um I'm not really sure what I expected, but it, it could have used a little bit of a punch somewhere. I would say it's probably a three. Um, the texture, the chicken did not rehydrate great. Um, it was kind of tough and chewy. So I'm going to give that like a two. It was below average. Um, but other than that, I'll put the price and the calories and the cost per calories up on screen. Um, but so far, that's our baseline. So we will be going through a bunch more um, mac and cheese and fettuccine alfredo so carb heavy trip this time uh, it's hot it's humid there's bugs everywhere and <laughs> we did 19 ish today so i'm probably 
not going to be up for too much longer. Maybe listen to a podcast or something and then read for a little bit and go to bed. So, uh, until tomorrow. So I know I just said goodnight, but a couple of things I forgot to mention. So my Sawyer squeeze is acting up. I tried to back flush it some. It's not working and trying to get it to work i put a pinhole in my cnoc bag so that's super fun uh it still works if i baby it and use eva's sawyer mini uh, but that's not great um we'll see what can be done about that and then on top of that i think i scratched the crap scratched the polarized film off of my sunglasses so that's also not great um, and I forgot my camp shoes, so just winning on this trip, but I've got some stuff, I got some extra sunglasses in the resupply box with Eva's parents, so that'll be here Tuesday or Wednesday, hopefully, and if we walk really close to a town, I might consider running in, but I don't think we run really close to a town, I think it's at least a mile, so I don't know, it's gonna be fun times, okay, for real this time. Good morning. It is Sunday, about 7.30, and we are officially back on trail. Uh, last night was pretty good. Didn't sleep very well, but I think that's just because I, uh, I've been dealing with a bunch of anxiety and <clears throat> stuff's been crazy at home and at work. So I've been taking melatonin every night, and now I don't have it, and so that's been fun. Um, but the, the bugs were horrendous. Mosquitoes everywhere. I had four ticks. Two of them latched, two of them didn't. So that was super fun. Um, I think I mentioned yesterday all the stuff that I forgot. And then my filter is clogged to the point of being useless and trying to get flow through it, I put a pinhole in my dirty water bag so it's just been it's just been a real joy to start so but whatever it's always good to be on trail and it's why I hike with a badass partner like Eva who can cover down when I act like a jackass so we ended up doing about 19 yesterday I think the goal today is either 17 or 22. 17 is where we originally pegged for because we did the extra yesterday. But day five, day four or day five is like a 24 with elevation. So depending on how we feel, we might push a little bit. But we'll figure that out when we get there. Now I'm gonna put the phone down and pay attention to where I'm going. All right, we're about three miles in. It's been pretty windy and a little chilly, um, but it stayed dry. I'm on this cool little bridge. This little swampy thing. Uh, I just went past one of the trailheads. I'll put it up on the screen. Just burned in the trailhead. But yeah, other than being overgrown, it hasn't been too bad today. It's a little slick, a little muddy, but not bad compared to yesterday. So yeah, feeling okay. Legs and back loosened up after being pretty stiff this morning. But yeah, on we go. All right, it's about 9.30. We're about five miles in for the day. And I think that is our first clear view of Superior. So that's very cool. Very excited about that. Been windy today, just kept it a little bit chilly. But other than that, pretty good day. Bugs are not as bad as yesterday, probably because of the wind, but uh, still got the hood up for some bug protection. This is the Jolly Gear Triple Crown button down sun hoodie, and I sent it in to get treated for by insect shield. So I'm sort of using this in place of a head nut. Oop, frog. Uh, but yeah, everything's going pretty well. Seeing about, I don't know, maybe four people today um yeah i think we're probably about 
two or three miles from my campsite. I think I'll probably hold up there and use the privy and grab a snack, maybe filter some water if uh, my filter is cooperating or I might try and flag down Eva and borrow hers again. So, all right, we will uh, press on. It's about quarter to 12 and I'm on this little bridge of the West Branch Knife River, according to the sign right here. I've been following it for, I don't know, maybe about half a mile, give or take. So we should be coming up on the campsite I was mentioning earlier, which I'm gonna take a little break, have some lunch, um, and then probably wait for Eva, as I mentioned, for some, some water filter. So, uh, doing pretty good for the day. I think we're pushing, I don't know, eight maybe? I'll have to check. But, uh, feeling pretty good. My back was extremely sore this morning. And uh, I'm feeling really good. Everything stayed loose so far. So, yeah, going pretty well. We'll uh, check in when we get to this campsite. All right, it's about five o'clock. We've been at camp for a while, maybe an hour already. We got all set up, went and filtered some water, uh, did our tick checks. No ticks for me today, so happy about that. Um, filtered my water for now and getting ready for dinner. So today is Trail Foods Trials macaroni and cheese. So we got Squatch, Sasquatch Fuel Southwest Mac and Cheese. It is 477 calories. It takes nine ounces of boiling water, 10 minutes to rehydrate. Um, and I think that's it. Uh, do, 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 do. This pouch does not rely on heat, oxygen, blah, 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 blah. And apparently the bags on this break down naturally. Pack it creates enzymes that interact with microbes in the environment to allow for degradation into a toxin-free water and plant food. But don't leave your trash like these idiots who left a bunch of beer bottles. Hey, beer bottles and cans don't burn. Stop doing that, people. All right, so this is a five out of five on ease. Uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, the Sasquatch Fuel Southwestern Mac and Cheese went a little bit longer because I was busy filtering water, but here we go. I'll be honest, there's a lot of spice, which I enjoy. There's little bacon bits of beef jerky. It didn't rehydrate that well. It feels like the sauce didn't really come together and the noodles are a little al dente even though I let them go longer. Flavor, I'd say a three, texture, two and a half. It's it, if you really want a spicy kick, I guess. Um, it's good, but nothing to write home about.